I get asked about that a lot, but not, you know. The, the one question I think I get asked the most, did, did you marry a wrestler? And are you really? married okay. to Shane? Yeah. Your husband a wrestler, and then a lot of people think that Shane and I are married. How's your well, husband? Your husband may be bigger than wrestlers now. <laughs> he, might, he, he might be a little bit more jacked. Oh, God. We were in the gym this morning working out. Now we're doing strength training, and I'm about to faint. Oh, geez. I'm getting all my protein. Look, I'm sitting here with a protein shakes, and I'm – oh. And he's going, you're strong. You're strong. And I'm trying to pick <laughs> I'm doing that spots. I'm like, Ooh, oh I like God. this. What Dying. relationship building? I love it. <laughs> yeah, we're great. Uh, oh, yeah, so, in the morning. But with Rude, so yeah, you get asked it a lot. You said it's a little bit redundant. But, I mean, for as long as it went on, I mean, when you look back at it, are you satisfied with it? Or do you wish some things were done a little differently? I Definitely differently. I don't like the fact that... I mean, you know me, I, I'm pretty laid back when it comes to spots and stuff, but the, there were certain things that he did that I think crossed the line. And if that was done in today's, uh, you know, today's wrestling society, I think, um, you know, the whole me too and this, that, I think it, I think it would fall into that category. Yeah. You know what I mean? There were, there were some things that were inappropriate and I, I didn't fight him on it because number one, it was Rick rude. Um, I didn't want to get in trouble, but when I look back on it, it's just so cheap and so tacky and it, it could have been done a different way. I feel certain thing like this one wasn't bad. You, you, he pinched my, ass. okay, whatever. That's fine. But there, there were moments like the one at the arena where he flips me upside down. He sticks his head. It's too much. Yeah, that that's one's too, that's a that, little much. That one. That is way too much. It crossed the line. It it, it was embarrassing for me, um, but yet I didn't say a word. You know, I went to the back and I was just like, "Thanks," and that was it. So, um, you know, when people ask me today, like, "Oh my god," it's like. Dude, it was like 20, 25 years ago, whatever it was. It's done. It's over with. There's nothing I could do about it. You can't go back and you can't change history. I can't say anything because the man passed away. So what are you going to do? Yeah, it's just it's it's an interesting little wrinkle because for as big of a personality he was, you know, him being on a house show and all he did was just come out, grab yep. you and kiss you. It's almost like just a weird usage of both of you. So now you're out of this match. You're not right. going to play into the finish and well, he's getting paid to just come out for literally a minute and then leave. Well, you have to remember too, he wasn't clear to bump. He couldn't right. work so that he was limited as to what he can do as well. You know? And I honestly don't think him and Shane got along that great. Right. There were, there was like some tension between the two. I mean, they were cordial to each other, of course. Um, but I don't think there was an actual friendship like, you know, with Bam Bam and with Chris and they didn't hang out. They didn't talk. They, it, it wasn't there. You know right. what I mean? So it was yeah. a different dynamic working with him and he basically just did what he wanted and he left. <laughs> that was it. And he was good friends with Pauly. You know, you got to right. remember they went back from WCW days. They were, they were tight. So I didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't want to piss Paul off and, and him not think I was a team player. But I do think that a lot of those spots were just done to get himself over. And I think it made me look just cheap. I don't know. I don't I don't know. Is there a better word for it? I mean, maybe you were utilized a lot better of? in other stories. This this well, I'm not even talking about storyline. There, there were ways I feel that we could have still got it over without being so crude. And I know right. ECW was kind of like we crossed the line and stuff like that. But this kind of stuff, like, really crossed the line. You know what I mean? And yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe if it was in 2022, you couldn't get away with that. But back then, I, I don't know. I don't know if I would have said something if I would have got reprimanded or if – Maybe I wouldn't have gotten in trouble with Paul, but maybe Rick would have been mad at me. 
and then things could have been worse. You know, and I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, one time he spanked me and I've never been, besides Terry Funk, I've never been hit that hard. I had handprints on my butt. He smacked me so hard. And I'm like, was that really necessary to hit me that hard? You know what I mean? Like, girl, the spank, the spank, it's supposed to get a pop. You lift the, the skirt. He really beat me up. <laughs> like, it hurt. It stung. So I don't know, but I just never said anything. And for the, don't put in the comments if, if this goes on YouTube. I don't want to hear "stop being a crybaby" or this, that, and the other. I'm just pointing out that things could have been done a different way. That's all. I don't think anybody will say that at, at this point. I don't know. They might. Now the way we look back at things, we 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 look at it in a different light, and it yeah, it would not have flown today. That would not have happened. And had it happened. He probably would have been fired or there would have been some sort. You would have almost had lawsuit on your hands for what happened to you out there. Yeah, but, I, but again, you know, there were so many things that happened that I could be petty and, and you know, blow it up out of proportion and say, this one touched me here. This one did this. This one did. I've never said anything. I just chalked it up to like, I, I'm a strong woman in, if, if somebody did something inappropriate, I would turn around and I would say, get your hands off me. Don't touch me there. Don't try and do that. You know what I mean? Like I always stuck up for myself pretty right, much. Right. Um, but this was different because this was out in front of the crowd. Right. This wasn't done in the back. This was done in front of thousands of people put on TV and then it's like, I'm standing there like, what just happened? You know, I I knew he was going to do something, but to what capacity? I wasn't sure. So did he cross the line? Sometimes he did. This one probably is the tamest one we've ever this seen. This is a tame one. This is yeah. fine. But there are certain things that I just shook my head. It was just like, what the frig? <laughs> you know, but hey, it happened. And what can you do? And in the midst of all of that.